Hello beautiful souls. Welcome back to Ladybug Farm. It is April 1st. So on our vegetable planting guide, wow. Look at all these things that you can start in your garden to prepare for the summer. Summer veggie starts like tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, they're filling the store shelves. But in this video, we'll chat about why not to plant them yet. Why not to plant them yet? If you live in the sand hills of North Carolina, I have a magic date for you to remember. Are you ready? April 15th. Why? We live here in the sand hills of North Carolina in zone 7B. This is our hardiness zone, and that tells us when we can expect our last frost. April 15th is our last expected frost. So the keyword here is expected. Some years we get our last frost in March. Some years we've gotten our last frost at the end of April. And to give you a geographical idea, Florida, parts of Florida are in zone four. And if you go north, parts of New York are in zone 10. So what does that mean? If you go out to the store, and you buy your transplants and you put them into your garden right now and you don't have any sort of extra protection, let's say we get a frost tomorrow or in a few weeks. Those summer vegetable starts are either going to die from the exposure to the frost or they're going to be weakened, which they might come back from but it's making that plant more susceptible to disease later on in life because it's starting out so weakened. So you can plant away. Absolutely, you still can plant away and put that stuff into the ground. You're going to be a few weeks ahead if, by chance, we don't get that last expected frost, if we're clear for the year. And that's kind of what farming is. You're no matter how much we think we can control, everything is still just a, a bet. It's still a gamble with mother nature. So you can still go ahead and put those things into the ground, but it's not what I would recommend. So I have some recommended planting dates for you again here in the Sand Hills of North Carolina. On April 15th, remember, that's our magical date, April 15th. Seeds you can sow directly into the garden. Those are going to be your bush beans and your pole beans. And then you can also either do seeds or transplants of cantaloupe, cucumber, watermelon, summer squash, winter squash, and then transplants. You don't want to put these in its seeds mid-April. You want to buy transplants of your tomatoes. And if you don't get them in when April 15th comes around, that's okay. You can plant your tomatoes all the way up until July 15th. The biggest factor that you are going to be looking for when planting your tomato starts is going to be the overnight temperatures. You want to have those temperatures above 50 degrees. So again, that's for April 15th. Fast forward a few weeks, there's a few, few fruits and vegetables that are going to like warmer weather. So wait until May if you're going to put seeds like lima beans in the ground or your southern field peas. If you want to do transplants, wait until May 1st for eggplant, okra, and peppers. And that includes your sweet peppers or your hot peppers. Those few plants just absolutely love the heat. So it's really not worth it. We've found over the years, even if we put them in a few weeks earlier, the plants that are planted in the garden later, when the nighttime temperatures are good, when the daytime temperatures are good, they catch up and they produce pretty much the same harvest as the ones that are starting earlier and having to fend for themselves in the cooler weather. So if you've already gotten those transplants, don't worry, hold on to them. What you can work on doing is hardening them off. You're gonna leave them out, expose them to some sun, get them used to that overnight temperature. You can also ask the place, ask the nursery, ask the store, have these transplants been hardened off? And hopefully they should be able to tell you. If you get to a night and you look ahead and you say, wow, it's supposed to be in the 40s or we're supposed to have a frost tonight. 
bring those seedlings in the protection of your house so that they can warm up and stay warm overnight and just take them back out again in the morning. You wanna have those transplants hardened off for at least a good week before you take them and put them into your garden. So in conclusion, you can gamble. You can start your summer garden now with those transplants if you wish, but your safest bet is to have some patience. I know it's so hard because we're so excited, but have patience, wait a few more weeks until April and May, and we are wishing you an abundant harvest to come. Happy gardening, everybody.